Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Casey. I played for the Kitchener Rangers from 1979 through 1982. Yeah, I'm Jeff Larmer, and uh, the same. I played for the Rangers from 79 to 82. Uh, and, and Kevin and I grew up together in Peterborough and played together from the time we were eight years old until uh, we graduated from the Rangers. So we've been on the same, we were on the same line forever, right? When we were growing up. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we got put in the same line, I think, Jeff, in um, minor peewee, right? right? With, with Mark Hool and uh, yeah. I think we played together all the way through minor hockey and then we both made the junior B team. It was funny. I was, I was telling a story the other day about sitting in the dressing room and uh, right. It was the first year of the junior B team at, at Peterborough. And uh, you and I obviously didn't think we were going to make the team. Maybe we didn't, we, maybe we did, maybe we didn't, but uh, we were underage and uh, 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 Buka Boom walked in. Oh, and yeah. you and I are sitting beside each other and he's, and he's uh, got his uh, muscle shirt on. He's tanned. He's got arms on him about eight inches big and he's got work boots on. And we looked at each other and said, what the hell are we <laughs> doing here? <laughs> remember, remember he had those big overalls on? Yeah. With the overalls yeah. and he walked in and then we went, oh my God. And that was the first year they had had a junior B team in Peterborough yeah. for a long time. And we played out of the Kinsmen. Yeah. I remember, uh, you know who I ran into a few years ago? Remember uh, uh, Sullivan out of Ennismore? Yeah, yeah. His kid played for uh, Ennismore, and they were playing up in Collingwood. And we were at the arena, and I'm looking over, and, and I go, I think that's one of the fighting Sullivans. <laughs> remember how tough he was? Yeah, we, pro- and we probably both weighed about 160 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Wow. I know. And, and good old days. And then we were done January 10th. January Remember 10th. It was our draft year. Yeah. And, and, and I think we were, we were ranked a little bit higher. But yeah. then January 10th. And then January 20th, we dropped down. And then <laughs> February 1st, we dropped down a little farther. <laughs> yeah, March, we dropped we, down a little farther. Yeah, and I don't think we played hockey again until that March that. Prescott tournament, midget right. tournament. We went back to the midget team and played, yeah. Yeah, so, I remember, yeah. And, and, and we had to wear, uh, we had to wear full screens, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you got thrown out of the tournament. You got in that fight, and I'm watching you. <laughs> And the guy was over on his stomach and you were like playing the drums on his back. And the guy, I don't know, was the guy throwing up on the ice? And then we were, then we were done for sure. And yeah. then uh, waiting around on the draft, we were both back in Peterborough. And I can remember, I, I don't know, I had, I had the car and, and my dad would never give us the car, right? So I picked him up and he goes, well, what happened? And I went in like the sixth or seventh round. You went in what the top? You're in the top five rounds. No, I think it's I was seventh round and you were eighth round. Weren't I, 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 don't I, don't know. Know. I don't remember, but it was funny because I was at a track meet that day in Brockville, and um, I got home about two o'clock in the morning, and my dad had a big note pinned on the wall. You got drafted by the Rangers. Did Jeff's go with you? <laughs> well, I can imagine what you said after that. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and, and I remember sitting in your basement about a week before that, and we were going through all the teams, looking at it and saying, Kitchener would be the best place to go to because they have the most guys graduating. And that's, that, right. that's our best opportunity to make the team. And, well, and um, go ahead. And I remember watching because remember um, – Steve had played as a 16 year old in Peterborough and then he was drafted second overall to Niagara Falls. Yeah. So I can remember going down and watching uh, the Pete's play against Niagara in the playoffs and um, Niagara had a really good team. Yeah. And they ended up, they were up three to one. Yeah. And the Pete's beat them out. So I can remember watching, uh, and and they uh, Niagara Falls would beat the Rangers out. We'd watch that. That's series. right. That's right. So all those guys like Sullivan and 
Reinhardt and remember that one Barkley Haddad Barkley Haddad Barkley Haddad yeah and like all and, those guys were graduating yeah and uh, Bennett Wolf Bennett Wolf yeah <laughs> I remember I played pro against him too and and yeah. uh, he he got into a fight with John Wensick and I remember talking to Bennett Wolf afterwards and he said I can't believe it I can't believe it uh uh he bit my he bit my back in a fight like it just <laughs> went at all costs, right? And I'm going, well, I, I went sick. And I went, why would you bite him in the back? And he said, because he tried to bite my fingers off earlier in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we, and, we came, and we came to training camp. Remember, we came with um, Sam, in, Bateman. Uh, Sam Bateman's uh, station wagon with Tim Killing back, back, who was, yeah, right. thir- who was a 13th round pick. Yeah. And uh, we got to camp. And remember, we, uh, we had – the two games the first night it was thursday night and you yeah. had to play the back-to-back game and i think we got done at like midnight and we were back on the ice at eight o'clock the next morning and you had the and the games weren't were like full 20 minute games were they not or it, yeah, maybe I, they were a little bit shorter 15 minute stop time three periods though but it was like first time on the ice kind of thing you didn't really skate in the summer very much at the time back no, then no right no that's right <laughs> Yeah, and then um, um, and I could probably rattle off the names because Grant was the first overall pick. Jim yeah. Davies was the second pick. Yeah. Red uh, Brownie Lawrence was the third pick. Yeah. Um, number four. Wait, I think I don't think we had a four, and then we had the guy from Burlington, number five. Five. Linton. Brian Mark Linton. Linton. Mark, Mark, Mark Linton. Linton. Yeah. And then we had the defenseman La- Lash or Lasso or Lash off or something like that. I don't remember. And then it was me, and then you. And uh, none of the guys made it ahead of us, except while well, Brownie kind of was there for a bit, but didn't really play. And no. Litton laughed right away. And it was just you, Pavist, who played Junior B with us, and me and you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And we and had Grant. all the guys from Thunder Bay. And all the guys from Thunder Bay made the oh, team yeah. who were the, uh, the uh, add-ons. Padubny and... Yeah, Walt Padubny. Uh, Vidola. Remember Vidola? Yeah. yeah. Dave Vidola. David Dave Vidola. Vidola. Yeah. Was there another one or just the two of yeah, them? Yeah, there was um, Rob Whistle. Oh, that's right, Whis. Rob Whistle. And we all made the team. And then um, we get we get out of the gates and we win our first three games. And I didn't I don't I, I didn't play until You played the third the the third game at home against Oshawa and you scored your first game, I think. I can't remember. But it was yeah. a while. Like I remember yeah. um, I remember we were playing an exhibition game and you had already they'd already signed you. Yeah. Uh, Pavis, and uh, I can remember we played in Toronto somewhere, and it was the only time my dad had spoke with anybody on the with the Rangers, and it was Mike Penny, and uh, it had been a while. Like I wasn't in, you know, like it, it would never happen now. But I was the last guy in Mr. and Mrs. Riviera's place. Remember the old Riviera Hotel. <laughs> And, and and I was the only one there, and and I was a late birthday. I was still sixteen, yeah. And I wasn't I wasn't in school anywhere. No. And uh, my dad had said, "Listen, you got to figure out what you're doing with him because he's got to be in school." Yeah. And uh, Penny had told them that they were waiting to find out what happened with Paul Reinhardt in Atlanta. Yeah. Right? So if Atlanta, if he came back from Atlanta, they were going to cut me loose, right? Yeah, and, well, uh, I remember. I remember. I remember the the game that they told me it was. We played in Brantford on Labor Day, and I think I, I got a couple of goals or something. Probably not like one from a slap shot outside the blue line for God's sakes or something that got deflected or some crazy thing. <laughs> and uh, they said, "Okay, you go. You get to go home and um, get your stuff and come back on Thursday for practice." And your yeah. dad was in the car, and uh, we drove the whole way home. And your dad kept saying. He's too little. He's not going to make the team. And my dad kept saying, no, I think Jeff's had a really good training camp. And I said, <laughs> they, they know what he can do. And they put him at center and they put him at wing. And I, he said, he will make this team. I, I can remember that clear as day. My dad probably said it 15 times of the way home. And your dad kept saying, nope, I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> in, in between drags, in between pops. <laughs> yeah, but but I, I got to tell you the one thing. Like your dad... <laughs> Uh, really important for us because he remember he was always like an assistant coach all the way up with us. 
Yeah. And, yeah. and he was a, a former first round draft pick to the Peets yeah. through the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. So I can remember always talking to him all the way through. What am I doing, Pat? What am I doing? What am I doing? And he would always do all those little fun stuff with us on the ice, right? Remember, we'd be at the Kinsmen, and we'd be standing at center, and Ray Fowler would be going around. You know Ray, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, and he'd be saying, listen, I'm going to show you guys how to backhand the puck and hit the rafters at the Kinsmen center. So he'd be flipping backhands up because you got to have a backhand. you got to have a backhand. <laughs> uh, and, and I remember all the way through junior, always talking to your dad when I was having a rough go. What am I doing out there? What do I need to be doing? What do I need to do? And he was really good about that. I don't uh, remember you having very many rough goes of it, junior. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember the one time I got so mad that we were living over at Maneri's house that I remember I, I brought a couple sticks home and I wrapped them around a couple telephone poles <laughs> outside the house I go, I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the 70, well, yeah, the 79 year wasn't so fun because we, we won the first three. Then we went to Sudbury and lost 10 to 1. Oh, right? I, wasn't in that, I, wasn't in, I wasn't in that game. I was up in the uh, press in box. The crowd? <laughs> yeah. And a funny story. <laughs> a couple of years ago, Stephanie, my oldest daughter, was playing up there against uh, Sudbury in the uh, – in the uh, in the arena we played the Wolves yeah. in, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting beside uh, uh, Mike Moore's brother, Patty. And uh, and I go, Patty, I go, I remember it clear as a bell. I was sitting up in that press box, and that freaking Whoa. wolf <laughs> came across with in front of my face like about a foot ten times that night. Remember they smoked <laughs> us? And uh, Earl was coaching. No, and Penny was coaching because Ertl was still suspended from the previous year for the brawl that he had in Niagara Falls in the playoffs. That's right, and and he was uh, and, he was and, uh, he was up Rick, in the press box beside me, and the wolf is coming across. And remember, yeah, we and, got we got on the bus. Ceiling couldn't Rod Ceiling wasn't there that night, so Penny nope. had to coach. <laughs> well, remember he put us on the bus and we got back and uh, we had to gear up. It's like three o'clock in the morning. And Ertl put us through a skate, but that with was no, with no tape. No tape. Yeah, that was. And then, uh, and then we won in Sioux in uh, overtime the next night in in uh, Sioux. Sioux wasn't that good either that year. No. And then no. Um, and then we didn't have the greatest October. I I broke my hand in the tenth game, and then I remember at the end of October, the November or sorry, the end of November, end of October. Yeah, end of November. The newspaper came out. Rangers go O for November, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. And I went and looked, and in the old day, they had that uh, paper uh, cardboard thing that had all the games on. You could write the yeah, score yeah, and right. all that stuff that they used to give out at the start of the season. And I looked through it, and I, and I said, "Holy crap, we went O for November!" But yeah. the only thing that came good about that was we got to draft Brian Bellows in the first round the next year. That's right, and <clears throat> when Ceiling took over. Yeah. Right, we played. He just played us. All, yeah, all the played. young guys played, right? Yeah. And uh, right. I remember I was on that uh, when I started to play. Um, I got on a line with Grant, and we yeah. used to. Oh my God, we used to have the funniest conversations on the bus, right? About <laughs> Junior B, where we practiced like uh, once a twice week. a week, <laughs> and we had to bring our own tape and sticks, and Grant's laughing at us, and um, um. We uh, started playing, and yeah. I can't remember. And then they we traded for Mo. Remember, we traded for Mo and yeah. McKenzie, Lee yeah. McKenzie, and yeah. they put Mo on our line. And I remember Grant and I had been playing all the time, uh, killing penalties, power play, and they put Mo on our line. And, and all of a sudden, we got a little pugnacious out on the ice, right? <laughs> Mo protected and I, you and gave you Mo protected you and gave you more room. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, but Grant and I are looking at each other going, We're not playing as near as much as we did because our right wingers in the penalty box. But, but Mo had always said, he said, I got you guys ready for Bellows. I, I gave my spot up for Bellows for you guys. Uh, yeah. But uh but that yeah, year, like like we got to play and and, and Mike Penny and, and uh Rod uh got us ready for the, the next two years. 
Yeah, and, oh. and I think you and I have said this lots of time that I think the fact that we won the next year, a lot of that could be attributed to Rod because it kind of the guys who were there for that year and that stayed kind of got that grounding in how yeah. to play defense in your own end and how to protect the puck and um, yeah. all those kind of things that, that, that made us a better team, right? Well, and but, we knew we were going to be right. offensive, but our, our yeah. biggest thing was – keeping the puck out of our net. And, and, you know, we had Ben, Ben was in net. Yeah. Him and uh, like, well, uh, Jennings, Sidwell, uh, Jean. We had, about, we had about six goalies that year, didn't we? <laughs> well, remember our roster? We had like 45 guys on our roster moving through all the time. Like the, yeah. the Hooley boys, uh, yeah. Dwayne's, was it Sprague? Dwayne Sprague. Yeah. Defenseman. Yeah. Yeah, but it's set up for a core, right? And <laughs> yeah, uh, um, when they the next year, when they brought Willie back, Willie really grounded our D. Kerry yeah, Willis did, and yeah. and we picked up. Uh, we were lucky enough to pick up uh, the next year. Scotty Stevens should have made our team, really. Probably, but remember Orville. Yeah. Orville kind of said, "No, we're going to leave him. Let him play junior B," and then. The year we won the Memorial Cup, we were able to get him. But, you know, you pick up Al McGinnis. Uh, well, yeah, that Eagles, draft, that draft had to be the best draft that the Rangers ever had, right? Because I think the first seven rounds or six rounds, every single guy played in the NHL. And, um, right, Brian Bellows, yeah. Al McGinnis, Wendell Young, Mike Eagles, Mike Huff, right? Tucker. Unbelievable. Well, we got Tucker. No, the Tuck next was year. the next year. Tuck was the next year. But, um, um, I just, that really set us up, but still, we still went into that next year with Orville, right? And, um, yeah. or we were terrible up until coach. the end of November. We were terrible into January. We were in last place at the end of November. Oh, we yeah. came back from January. Our first trip was up North. We went up North and lost to Sudbury and Sioux. We yeah. came home and we lost 10 to one or 10 to two or 10 to three to, to Brantford on a Friday night at home. And that's when Orville came in the dressing room and I broke my hand again at the start of the year. And I wasn't really playing a lot. I was kind of the fourth line sitting on the bench a bit. Norville came in the dressing room. Remember the old skinny little dressing room oh, yeah, and yeah, kicking yeah. the garbage can, screaming and yelling at us about an embarrassment to the Kitchen Ranger organization, da, 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 da. And I piped up and said, Orville, how do you think we can win when we don't know how to get out of our end? We never practice a two on one. We never practice a three on two. And we have no systems to do anything. And the whole team well, kind yeah. of rallied around it. We went into Brantford the next night and won seven to three or seven to two on Sunday night in Brantford. And then Is that we, went, we had the big brawl. No, that was at Christmas the next year. Yeah. But um, yeah, <laughs> but oh, was um, it? It, it was, yeah, it was that year. It was a Chris. It was a Christmas yeah. that year. We had the big brawl with Brantford. But after that game, after that game, we went twenty three of our lot. We won twenty three of our last twenty five games. Yep. Niagara Falls was in first, and they lost like twenty of their last twenty. Well, they they self imploded. <clears throat> yeah, they did. They, they were they having had all sorts team. of internal problems. Yeah, and and our hardest round in the playoffs that year was against them, right? Ludzik yes. and your that brother, went seven and games. that went seven games. And Mike Eagles, Kirk and Thomas. Goal. Yeah, well, Mike McClellan, Eagles, Kevin McClellan, Kevin yeah. McClellan, right? Went seven games, and but that was the toughest series. Yep. And then we That's came back, and, and then we played Windsor the next round. Yeah. And that first game against Windsor, right, was the game that Ernie got three goals. Oh, and, yeah. And um, ah. uh, he scored late in the game to go to put them ahead 6-5 or 7-6 yeah. or whatever it was. And then Grant and Willie were on the ice. And uh, that's when Grant pulled pulled the stunt with, with, with Orville. Oh, yeah. When, right? when Orville, uh, he said, Should, do you want me to watch uh, – you want me to watch Ernie and Orville basically said, just go put the puck in the net. And then we went down and scored and Grant scored and we're all going to congratulate him. He's like a bull in a China shop. He goes right through, gets in the net, fishes the puck out of the net and goes back to our bench. Remember Orville, how he used to, he'd have his fedora on and he'd stand there with the arms <laughs> crossed like this, going up and down the bench. And Orville, <laughs> And, and he just threw the puck at the bench. And there was a photo somewhere. I don't know if it was in the, the Kitchener-Waterloo record of, of Orville behind going like this. As the puck <laughs> and there's no glass behind the, the stands. So the, the, the spectators were right on top of the bench. And they're all like this scattered out of the way. And, and uh, 
And and Orville just reached down and picked the puck up and threw it back on the ice. And yeah. uh, away we went. But, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, we tied was, that game and then we won the next four games straight um, and beat them, right? And then yeah. we uh, then we played uh, Sue. We played Sue in the final, right? Yeah. And I, that went. That was when it was an eight point series. Yeah. And it went six games, and we tied we won all every three one games. of our home games and tied every game in Sue. Wendell stood on his head. Yeah, he did. Wendell right? stood yeah, on his head. He was head. phenomenal. <laughs> but there was two key things in that series. One was um, game three up in Sue, and uh, we had tied. Tied right, tied the first game yeah. up in Sioux. And remember, we had to go back and forth because the circus yeah. was on in Kitchener and then the circus yeah. was on in Sioux. And we had that, it wasn't two and two. No, and one, one, game three up there. Uh, Dirk Reuter challenged Mike at center ice and they yeah. went toe to toe, like toe to toe. They went to the penalty box and they came back out and they went toe to toe again. And it was really a message to Sue that. We don't yeah. care what you guys do. We're not backing down. We're not scared oh. of you. And if you want to fight us, we'll fight us. If you want to play, yep. you will play. And uh, well, and, and remember, we picked up. Uh, was it we picked up Hixie and uh, yeah. Mario Michelli? Was it that yeah. year? Or the next year? Yeah, that was the year we picked them up. Yeah, and Tank, yeah. back. Like he was, yeah. he was a brute out there. Yeah, and, and he would just say, you know what? Uh, we're going to get this thing going. He go alarms. Go cross check that guy. Go cross check that guy in the back, and I'm right there. And and he would just come in and, and kill guys. Yeah, right? yeah. And I also think right. that year, remember that that Christmas Eve game in our twenty third game in Brantford. I think that yes. really pulled our game together too. Our where, team together, yeah. Where that huge brawl. It was huge fight, and uh, uh, Moed went into. The benches were beside one another in the old Brampton odd or Brampton well, Hicks, odd. Hicks had hit the goalie on the, the yeah. icing. Um, Kevin, Kevin. Newsom. Oh, no, Kevin Hamlin. Right. Kevin Hamlin. And uh, the benches were two feet from each other. Remember? Like yeah. I could touch the guy on the Brantford bench. Oh, and yeah. they sent the guy off late. They'd already lined up for the face off and Mo was on the ice. And uh, Mo didn't stop at the bench because the rule was you had to go to your bench. It was a second yeah. period. Mo skated right past the bench and went right in and told their coach he was a yeah. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> well, and, and I remember I was already – I was in the penalty box with, uh, with uh, somebody else. I think it was Clem. I think it was Russ Adams. And remember Rick Goodfellow? He was a buddy of Ben Kowski's yeah. out of Oshawa. Yeah. In there. And I had already got in a fight with this newsome guy. And he left the penalty box to go. So Clem left. And I looked at Goodfellow and I said, I'm not going out there. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and, and remember, Russ Adam got somehow got piled on on the bottom. And he got back in the dressing room and his whole face was a bruise. Yeah. And they he, turned the he, lights he, out and they were playing Christmas carols. Yeah. And Ben and, got hurt and Wendell got hurt. Yeah. And uh, well, Wendell got thrown out, right? Wendell yeah, got thrown Wendell got out. Tossed. And, um, uh, the other thing was when, when Clem came in the dressing room, he said, I certainly hope I got thrown out of the game because I don't think I can get my helmet back on my head <laughs> oh, for all the bruises. <laughs> oh, I know. And and remember Ben went in and told Orville, he said, I'll go as far as I can, but I can't yeah. catch. Yeah. And he came out with about eight or nine minutes left. Yeah. And Orville is looking down the bench and he's going, who can play yeah. that? Okay, hold that for one second, because I got thrown out in that game, too, for fighting yeah. Hamlin, because he jumped me right when I was uh, over the wards. And I, because I missed part of the season with my broken hand, I worked with um, um, Don, Don Cameron and yeah. Wes Lilly when Wes wasn't around, and I'd done play-by-play -play with Don. So I'm sitting in the press box beside them. And uh, Don's going, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like C.B. and is coming out of the net for some reason. And I said, well, Don, I can tell you what's going on down there right now. And he said, what's that? He goes, they're trying to figure out who's going in net. <laughs> he goes, they are not. And I said, well, Biankowski hurt his thumb and Wendell's thrown out of the game. So I'm telling you, that's what they're doing. And then Les, uh, uh, Les went across the ice with you and yeah. Snowy, maybe. I don't know if Snowy went across uh, the maybe. ice. Maybe. Right. And uh, I said, this should be a real treat because Larbs wears size seven and those two guys wear size 11. <laughs> and, and I remember I was putting Wendell Young's equipment on and we're howling laughing because remember at the end of practice, uh, I would always put Ben's gloves on 
and they would take shots from out at the blue yeah. line or whatever. And Orville's walking down the bench and half French, half English. Who can go in that? Who can go in that? And and I put my head down and right now I'm hearing guys go, <laughs> arms, you got to go in. You're in. And yeah. we're going in. And, and I got all the gear on. And uh, uh, I'm putting Wendell skates on. And like you said, they're size 11. I'm going, Wendell? <laughs> My, I'm, it's like ski boots, my thing. So we're stuffing the ends with toilet paper so that I can wear them. The rest are coming in, and he's laughing. And I get out there and skate across to the bench. And as soon as I get on, because of the flat sharpening, I just go, woo, her back. And I get over there, and Orville, you know, Orville's like this. And he just looks at me, and he goes, gives me the cross. <laughs> Getting that. Yeah, and away we well, go. And, yeah. People would love to know because it, I I did a I I worked with Les uh, sorry with Don Cameron um, a couple years later when the Memorial Cup was in Kitchener, and we were talking trivia at the intermission. And I said, well, I've got a great trivia question for you, Don. That, yeah. that we'll have we'll put this out to all the all the listeners. And, uh, I said, well, let's give a prize for something. And he goes, okay, what's your question? I said. Who's the only player in the OHL to score 50 goals two two years in a row, but also has a 0. 0.00 goals against <laughs> average? <laughs> yeah. Well, remember, like, like, well you stopped your breakaways bo- with Mike Bullard. Yeah. With, Bullard and, tried and, to do we, that and you went in, it was a five. You, it was, when you went in, it was a five on three power play. It was yeah. a five on three power play when you entered the game. Uh, and, and it's funny because every time now we're, we're an out player goes in somewhere down the line, I'll get a phone call. And, and I remember as soon as I got home, uh, Steve had phoned from Niagara Falls and went, what the hell happened in Brantford? How the hell did you end up in that? And I'm going like, we just got back to, uh, the, I just got back to Mozi's house yeah. and going, how the hell do you know? They said, well, somebody phoned me. I said, Oh yeah. I went in for the last Whatever it was. Eight minutes. I said, hey, I stopped Mike Bullard on a breakaway. I poke checked him and I said, You wouldn't believe what he said to me. <laughs> but yeah. really, and those guys were all blocking shots like crazy. And yeah. It, but it kind of set us up for like we really pulled yeah, together. It, brought us, it really brought said. us together. It really brought us together because McGinnis and Bellows and all those guys were young, right? And they were getting yeah. their feet wet that first half of the season. And when they got their feet wet, after they got their feet wet, we went on that roll. We went on a rip yeah, and then ended up and I still think that when we got to the Memorial Cup that year, like we could have won that. Right. The first we yeah. were. And again, we had that meeting with Orville and said, Orville, why are we practicing in the morning? We never done that. Yeah. And uh, we went back and we were lucky enough to win our we lost our first two games. That's right. We won our next two games. Yeah. And so we ended up against Cornwall in the finals. Yeah. And Remember in the old, it was the old Windsor barn. Remember that old lady that used to sit up behind with and the she cowbell? wore all the pins and the color bells. Yeah. And I remember we were walking in, she was outside. She goes, I hate you guys, but this week I'm <laughs> going to cheer for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, you know, <clears throat> we lost that game. I don't know how many people have told me we lost seven to two. We didn't lose seven to two. We lost 5-2 or 5-3, and there was an empty net goal. And the thing was, in the second period, oh, okay. we outshot them about 23-3 to or 23-4. Yeah. to And uh, Corrado Mikolaf, who was their Quebec goalie pickup, who shouldn't Should have, have been said. playing in my mind, right? Yeah. Because their goalies yeah. weren't hurt. We, we picked up, um, what's his name from Kingston, right? Who was from Kitchener, Waterloo. Moffitt. Moffitt. Yeah, Mike Moffitt. Moffitt. But I don't yeah. even know if Mike, Mike Moffitt. showed up in Windsor, did he? I think he was there, but he never, Orville never dressed him. He went with, no, he went with no. Wendell and, and, and uh, Steve. Yeah. 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 Right. And, and he stood yeah. in his head and, and then they scored that late shorthanded goal when everybody changed and left Willie on the, on the ice behind yeah. the net beside himself. And R- Roy Russell stole the puck and Howard Chuck scored or vice versa. I don't know. Well, didn't they score, didn't they score a couple of power play goals Yeah, uh, against us? Like back to back where we were mad at Wilsey for making those calls. Like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But that would have been that would have been the Cinderella story of the year. Oh God, yeah, uh, forever. For like we're uh, we came out of nowhere. Yeah, and but, so but again, we... it, it remember and remember afterwards, uh, they had sent. Uh, I remember because I played pro with uh, Dan Frawley. Oh yeah. And we were talking about the game. He goes, he goes, we just won the Memorial Cup, and we came in the dressing room, and uh, 
there's supposed to be all this champagne and stuff in there. And, uh, and I looked at it and I went, Rawls, it came to our dressing room and you know what? We drank it. <laughs> right? and, yeah, I, do, and, I do remember that. I do remember that. Yeah. But well, that, and, that set us up for the next year, right? That set oh, us up time. for the next year. And, yeah. and then we picked up Tucker and we picked up Dave Shaw and right. And, and Mike Huff came Scotty. that next year. Yeah. Scott Stevens. Right. So we, it, that just gave us way more depth again. Right. Oh yeah. Our, yeah. our defense and, was unreal. But yeah, you look well, at that, that year that we won, a lot of people, <laughs> it, you look at, at, at that roster, we had nine guys with 20 plus goals yeah. and we had all sorts of injuries and guys just fit in and, and played great. And yeah. the year before we lost, remember Grant never played the final game. And that's that would have right. been a huge difference for us because Eag stepped up and played great for us. Yeah. That's but it wasn't right. Grant. That right? wasn't Grant. That's right. It just, it, it, that, our, our, we didn't have the, I didn't think we had the depth that, that the, we had the, the second year when we won. Well, but, cause we were uh, all seven, we were all 18 years old. So yeah, we were all right. second year guys, right? Yeah. Oh but yeah. Then, and sorry. And the other guy we picked up was Robert Savard, right? And he'd won the yeah. two Memorial Cups with Cornwall. So he won a third with yeah. us. Right. But so it would, have, it would have been nice with Willie to win that year because I think it would Willie have was Willie was the calming factor in our room. Remember? Uh, yeah. He yeah. was guy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's just stop and think about this stuff. Right. Yeah. And exactly. then next year, right from training camp on, it was, you know, talking with Shazi and and uh, Tuck and Huff. Uh, Tuck and Huff and uh, and Scotty. It's like we're we're. Uh, we're here to win that one more game. That's, That's it. right. Doesn't That's matter what it. happens anywhere along the way. We're here to win that one game. And remember Quinner? Quinner joined us too, Dan Quinn. Yeah. Right? Um, not Dan Quinn. Um, um, Mike Quinn? Dave Quinn. School guy. Yeah, Jim yeah, Quinn. He, Jim, Quinn. Quinn. Jim Quinn. Yeah, Jim Quinn. Yeah, Jim Quinn. Yeah, Jim Quinn. Yeah. Who ended up being the captain of the Rangers a couple of years later. Well, um, yeah, and remember we laughed because he gave up a he gave up a full ride at Harvard, and you're yeah. looking around our dress room and and you know like there's a bunch of us that mm, yeah we're really what going to school doing? a whole lot right we're going like Quinner what are you doing man and yeah. anyways it, I I'm glad it worked out great for him yeah it did you know? work out great for him yeah and uh, and then we we go through that year and i think in our career and i i i remember i remember sitting with my landlady mary shill and right. uh she said you know what do you think against ottawa and i said look at i said we've played in this league three years and we finally beat them in the last game we played in ottawa i said yeah. that that is going to be the difference we're going to win this and she said well what do you think and i said well I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to win this series in five games. And she said, okay, why do you, five games? This is Ottawa, for God's sakes. And I said, well, Mary, last year we won every series at home, and we won the first series in seven, we won the second series in five, and we won the third series in six. Yeah. So this year we won the first series in four, we won the second series, or sorry, we won the first series in six, we won the second series in four, we're going to win the third series in five, and we're going to win them all on the road. <laughs> Yeah. She said, you are kidding me. And I said, nope, we're oh, going to beat Ottawa. And we, we, uh, we handily beat Ottawa. I don't, I, I think the games no, wasn't close, yeah, but it, they never, we were just too chance. deep for them. But you yeah. know, what was funny about and that grand year. Mo missed the final couple games in those series. Remember? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I played with you. And, I played, I played with you and Bellows, uh, in the in final the two games, in the, in the yeah. final two games. My dad just said, just all you have to do, give them the puck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but that's the thing though like when, when anybody got hurt other guys stepped up and it was like everybody was supporting one another okay don't worry yeah. about it let's go let's go yeah and yeah. uh it was funny that year because we lost we lost uh orville turn pro and remember crow came in yeah and it was like everybody knew what was going on who was going out power play penalty killing yeah and it was like Okay, Crow. Whatever. And, well, what uh, now? Our, our, but Crow did from the very start of the year. What did Crow say in the dressing room all the time? Singers sing and the dancers dance, and everybody yeah. knows their role. That's right. Yeah. Well, it, and, and it was a pretty, it, and because we are such a, a, a tight neck group, yeah, it was a pretty easy group to coach. It yeah. was just kind of keeping it together, where 
we weren't having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we go into the playoffs that year, remember? And, and I tell this story a lot to a lot of people, right? Which was, um, we we knew that, as you just said, we were winning one more game that year. And we go oh. in and we win that first round. We played Windsor, I think. We won four straight. And um, we show up the next day and there's all the envelopes in our lockers for the bonus, oh, yeah. right? For winning the round. And I think, what yeah. was it? $25 or 25 maybe bucks. Was, 25 bucks, yeah. right? And uh, you and Bellows and Mark and Grant got us all together, said, nope, this isn't acceptable. And we collected all the envelopes and you guys gave them back to Orville, back. right? Or oh, Joe, gave them back Joe. to Joe. And oh, I, and I remember was on he used ice. to walk around with that big thing. He goes, this yeah. is all yours, guys. And it was, it was probably like a little bit like a cartoon where he had $1 bills wrapped around toilet paper or something, right? It's all yours if you win it. It'll all be yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and most people won't remember that there was such a thing as a one dollar bill or a two dollar bill. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Man. <laughs> right, and then when we won, right, and we showed up the banquet, and it, oh, they yeah. had all the envelopes, and and we just said, "Hey, whoa, hang on a second, because that arena was full from Christmas right on." I, I remember playing from the year Sault Ste. before. Marie. From yeah, the I year remember, before. But remember playing Sault Ste. Marie in, in like February or January, and we had that wicked, wicked snowstorm. They shut down the 401 and everything yeah, else, yeah. and we had like seven thousand people in the arena, oh, yeah. and you couldn't even you couldn't even get to the arena almost. No, I, I, it, it was it was packed. I think everybody loved watching that group play because you never know you never knew what was going to happen. Yeah, right? and 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 you know Mo and Tank and those guys. Uh, remember we played Belleville that year. And Mo, mm -hmm. Mo had told Mike Eagles, right? Because remember, Belva was running around and beating the hell out of everybody. Yeah, and they, Mo they standing won a bunch there of games and told, to and, and, and uh, Mo told Eagles in, in, in warm up, right? He goes, I'm going to shoot the puck down on their end. You go get it. Right? <laughs> and and he's inside to look at him going, What do I have to get it? You know what's going to happen. <laughs> and remember, it, it just blew up beforehand. Yeah. And and it was a big brawl. Everybody's involved. Horrible. And then that their year was over after that. Yeah. Because it yeah. was like, how do you guys want to play? You want to fight or do you want to you want to play? And because uh, we had all the guys that Hixie and yeah, we could play Kelly any way you wanted to play. Tank everybody. Yeah. But um, um, <laughs> and Scotty, remember Scotty that year? Scotty was was trying to fight Stephen, so he went to Mo right, and Scotty lost his first couple fights. And he went, Mo, why am I why am I losing these fights? And Mo looked at him and said, Scotty, you're talking when you should be swinging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, yeah. God, he was clean. And, and I think Scotty was like, he, you wouldn't see that now. Where Shazi and Scotty came in, two first year guys mm -hmm. played together, and and we're we're a top a top four pairing. They'd be yeah. a top two pairing on any other team. That's right. They were. Right? And then we had McGinnis and, and Al and, and, uh, or Al and uh, Levac. Yeah. And Levac would just go, Al is, or as soon as I get the puck, Al, I'm giving it to you. And uh, you do whatever you want. I'm back. Don't worry about it. If anybody goes near you, don't worry about it. I got your back. Yeah. And uh, like just phenomenal. Okay? He would just destroy guys. And our power play, like it, it, we'd get it back to Al at the top and you just go back and line up because yeah. he would just wind up and crank it. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be in front of the net because you wouldn't want to get hit with it. Right. Yeah. But I remember Scotty at the Memorial cup. He, he was ice packs on both knees. He was phenomenal there. I remember we sat down after we'd won and, um, uh, um, uh, we went to the Boston head scouts house. Remember darling in Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. And they were talking about bellows and, uh, Gord Kluzak. Gord Kluzak. And we said, what about Scotty? Like, yeah. Scotty Stevens is <clears throat> phenomenal. Yeah. And they went Kluzak, and Scotty went fifth overall to Washington. Like, yeah. they, they, they got a, an all star. A Hall and, of Famer. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, remember, remember uh, like, that team that year had 8,000 man games in the NHL. Well, well, you say that, it's funny you say bellows. that because I've had this discussion with a whole number of people because this year the uh, CHL came out, maybe whether it was the CHL or the OHL, uh, and they came and they voted for the 
greatest team of the first hundred years or whatever of um, right because it was hundredth anniversary last year or the year before yeah yeah the yeah. World Cup and the London Knights with um, Corey Perry and, and and those guys were voted the number one team. Well, they they and lost said, like five games that year. Yeah, I know, but I say I say if you look at the number of games played in the NHL. And those guys are now starting to retire, right? Corey That's Perry's right, getting yeah. to the end of his career. And if you yeah. look at the number of man games played on that team versus what ours was, the Hall of Famers that are that came out of our our group, McGinnis and Stevens, Bellows, I don't know how many 20 goal years he had in, yeah, a row yeah. in the NHL or whatever, right? Eagles played 15 or 16 years, Huff played, played 15 played or 16 forever. years, yeah. right? And 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 the biggest joke is uh, I say to every all my friends is um yeah, um, I'm the best guy not to play in the NHL from that team because I'm the only guy not to play in the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> right? And oh. I said, we didn't, we didn't even get honorable mention for Christ's sakes. I and we, as your point, 8,000 games or whatever, and all the guys that we had, like C- Crawford had a cup of coffee in the NHL, yep. right? Um, oh, John uh, Tucker. Tucker. Dave Shaw. Tucker. Tucker never got a shift. In the final, the Memorial Cup, the year we won, and the next year he scored what six thousand goals or something. Yeah, yeah. Like he, yeah. he scored twenty goals that year, in uh, in like minimal playing time. I know, I know, I know. You know Shawzi so. played ten years. Yeah, at least right. Yeah, a uh, Wendell. Wendell is probably the yeah. greatest guy ever. Backup goalie. He won everything. He he's the only guy to win the American League. The International League, the Stanley Cup, and the Memorial Cup. Yeah. He didn't qualify for the NCAAs. He didn't have the great point <laughs> average. <laughs> but uh, like it, that was a, a scary group. Of, of, yeah, like, it was. I, I think why we're not ever in that talk is our regular season records weren't as good as the other teams. And a lot of yeah. it had to do was uh, – well, we, in the in we the really second care. year, yeah, in the second year we weren't any good, and in the third year, you were hurt for a bit. You were in the NHL for a bit. Al yeah. Al was gone for a bit, right? Bellows was yeah. hurt a good part of that year. Grant, Grant had injuries, hurt. right? Everybody Mo was, was hurt. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Mo was Mo wasn't hurt. I don't think. I think he was suspended, no, no, suspended. a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but, but, it, it, and but you're right though. Like, uh, um. A lot of guys wrote that whole year, so mm-hmm. we don't really qualify. But if you look at the bigger picture, the yeah. number of guys that went on to play after that year, and, and the number of guys like Quinner went on and, and played uh, – did he play university hockey at Laurier too? Yeah, yeah. You went on to play at Laurier? Uh, Whistle. I, I think the, Whistle yeah, wasn't Whistle, there that Whistle year, though. Whistle played in the NHL. He, yeah. Probably yeah. one of the first guys to come out of uh, – Canadian University, University to play. Yeah. Um, yeah. We had a good team. Um, and, uh, but for that group, it would have been nice if uh, Ben had stayed with us that one more year. It, yeah, it would have been, yeah, it would have been really good if he had a state because he was kind of the glue the year before that kept yeah. all those rookies that kind of, that's how we keep, became a team. It was that kind of core group of guys that all hung around and did stuff together, right? That was all well, there and, in, the, and- in the year following. And I think after our first year, uh, all of the, 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 the first year guys that came in afterwards, we understood that we needed them to be successful. So yeah. they were treated, uh, we, we treated them with dignity and respect. There was no, uh, there was no initiation, initiation stuff. And, 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 and when I read about that now, I go, how do you, how do you get these guys to want to play for you yeah. when you're treating them terribly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we didn't, we never did any of that stuff. And we just, you know, you look at a guy like Scotty Stevens and you go, Scotty, we really need you. So, yeah. but you know what, if you're having a rough day, we're here to support you and you're here to support us. And uh, we were able to, to get through that really well. Yeah. So, yeah. But those were, those were good years there. We had a lot of, we had a lot of fun and, and I don't think we were distracted by, uh, um, guys going in the NHL and stuff like that. And yeah. I remember, remember, remember our head scout, Sheldon, Trevor Shilton, uh, Trevor Shilton. And I remember talking to him at our, uh, remember we had that big party at uh, the hotel after we won the Memorial cup back in yeah. Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. And I remember talking to him and I went, Trevor, I go, why did you draft me? 
And he just looked at me and he said, your brother was a good player. <laughs> and I went, I get that. I, I, I said, that's good. Good answer. It's just like you're sitting around and going, what are we going to do now in the seventh, eighth round? Yeah. And uh, he goes, well, your brother was a good player. We figured what the hell. Right. <laughs> and remember uh, Jimmy Ralph, he, we picked him up. Yeah. And remember we got him. We, we started him on his uh, broadcasting career. Yeah. Remember he could do the best uh, Les Bradley impersonation. <laughs> and he stood up in that room and I, I like all our parents were there and, and the administration of the team. At the year end banquet. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, at the, not at the year end banquet. At the, oh, party. In, in, at the party in the oh. Memorial Cup. But he also did what at the, at the year end banquet, right? Cause then he, 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 uh, complimented me and said yeah because i think i want to date your sister <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well and, and and with ralphie i played pro with ralphie in um with chicago right and it was hilarious at training camp especially just recently with the passing of tony esposito yeah tony would be in one end and ralphie would do all these impersonations and in a, in a two-hour practice Tony would never touch the puck as a goalie. He would just swing a stick all over the place and get it, right? Wow. So you'd have Tony at one end doing that and Ralphie at the other end mimic him in perfectly <laughs> with all the moves and everything that Tony did. And we would just be sitting there killing ourselves often, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, yeah. Those, were, those were really good years and uh, – it's good now getting older because I'm hoping to get back to uh, with with uh, two of my kids going to Laurier now, getting yeah. down and and seeing a few more games this year. Over yeah. the course of the year. So well, let's let's hope we can get back and in, in, into an arena to watch a game, right? Yeah, no kidding. Eh? It, it's been tough on these kids. I mean, uh, I don't know how we would ever made it through there. And yeah. you know, you're, you're sitting there looking and going. Um, our goal back then was to win a Memorial Cup. And, and I think now junior A is seen as a stepping stone to a, a pro career. And, and if you win, you win. It's not as – it was the be-all, end-all for us because we, we got yeah. a taste of it and we really wanted that, right? Exactly but right. I don't exactly – uh, right. you know, the, these kids have been put through a grinder. You know, either they're aging out as uh, – they're aging out as their OHL careers and not aging out the way that we were lucky enough to age yeah. out. Exactly. Uh, and, and the ones that have been starting that, you know, haven't haven't experienced what we experienced for 18 months. So exactly. I, I'm hoping they get it get it going again for these guys. It's, it's been two Memorial yeah. Cups that have been lost. And, uh, uh, you know, the kids have been having to do their own thing and, and train and get ready, like more so than we ever did. Like we showed up exactly. at the rink with our gear. You open your bag and like moths flying out right <laughs> yeah so, uh yeah i just uh t- uh t- 40 years ago in the late 70s uh kitchener gave me a chance to play and uh, i've always felt that it is the greatest franchise in canadian history and the greatest fans uh i know for kevin for two peter burgers uh to have a place to play after our minor hockey careers uh, Kitchener was uh, the greatest place for us to go, created a lot of friendships. Uh, a lot of people still know that live in the area. And uh, I'm excited. My kids are going to school there now and getting back to the area and uh, seeing more games. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah, Jeff, I, I think that you said that perfectly. I, I, I said the only thing that um, that I really appreciated it was coming here was you're right. The fans were the greatest. I, I remember coming off the ice in the second period in that second year against Sue when we tied it up and like goosebumps uh, running down your neck because of how loud they were and how supportive they were. Um, but um, you're right. We, we met a lot of people. I stayed in the region for the whole time. Steve Bienkowski used to say, you're not from Peterborough, you're from Kitchener because you've been here longer. And um, this is a great community. Um, we thank the fans. The fans have been great. I, I stayed and was involved and the fans continued to be great. Um, and the thing was, we lived with great people. Um, the Maneries were great. Um, the Shills were great. Mummy, Mumsy was great. Right. And I don't Emotes. think any yeah. guy on our team, 
um, in those final two years would say anything poorly about the people they live with because they were fantastic. So thank you for listening. Um, we'll see you at the rink.